Last time on Sailing One Life, we spent some time in St. Thomas getting our mainsail repaired and taking care of some boat projects. We hiked to Megan's Bay, ordered pizza from a boat, and sailed to Buck Island for some incredible scuba diving. A short sail from St. Thomas, and we found ourselves in the quaint anchorage of Little Lambshire Bay in St. John. The landscape here was full of rocky ledges and rolling hills, perfect for stunning views and lots of hikes. We went on a mission to find two historical sites, the Petroglyphs and the Old Reef Bay Sugar Mill. Archaeological discoveries at the nearby bay confirm that these petroglyphs were carved around 1,000 years ago by the indigenous Taino and their ancestors. The spring-fed pool and the symbols were sacred dwelling places and site of ritualistic activity. A short mile hike away, and we find the old mill. Sugar Mill! Reef Bay Sugar Mill was the last operating mill on the island. The mill operated through 1916 when a hurricane blew through and devastated the mill, stopping production. In the plantation days, the sugarcane rollers were moved by horsepower. However, in 1861, the steam engine was built to power the rollers used in crushing the cane. We were surprised how much of the mill was still intact. As we made our way back to the boat, we saw something that we weren't quite expecting to see in the Caribbean. We moved around the corner to Salt Pond and picked up a mooring ball. Gary dove down over 40 feet to check it out and gave it the thumbs up. No problem. The majority of St. John is part of a national park, so the hiking and wildlife here is overly abundant. We were seriously loving the vibe here. When you can dive off the back of your boat, you take full advantage. So under we go. The reef was vibrant with coral in every direction. Where else can you hike in the morning, dive in the afternoon, and hike again for sunset? Cactus, hermit crabs, and views for days. Ram's Head was one of the most visually stunning hikes we have done. And the best part, we sailed our home here. 
Yeah, what did it do? Do it. But seriously, just look at this place. The next few days were spent bouncing around the island, doing more hiking and more diving. But then... We found a baby goat on our hike and he belongs down here. So Gary's gonna try to pick him up and bring him back to his mom. So sad. Taking him back to his mom. Still a goat. in and out. They just hang out in there. We met Bo and Brandy at a laundromat in Red Hook and made plans to go do some free diving together. We were able to spear a couple lionfish and snag a lobster, then moved on to check out a deeper shipwreck. We dingied back to the Red Hook Anchorage and got ready to pull anchor and move on. So you may figure out that when we cut to real time to talk about something that happened, it's probably something bad that happened that we didn't film. When we were pulling our anchor in Red Hook, we snagged some hurricane debris and ended up wrapping a line around our prop. We managed to get re-anchored before we drug in anyone. Of course, we didn't pick up the cameras because the last thing you think about when you're in a bad situation like that is to grab a camera. I jumped in the water to assess the situation and saw that our strut was really bent and our prop shaft was way out of alignment. We pretty much were without use of our engine now. So we were pretty devastated and had to figure out where we were gonna get hauled out and how we were gonna fix it. Rather than sit around dwelling about the damage, we sailed over to Lavongo Cay and dropped the hook in some incredibly clear water. As usual, we wasted no time getting geared up and diving in. The reef around this area was spectacular, full of various fish and plenty of lobster for me to chase after. We just got back from a dive right over there at Congo K, here between St. Thomas and St. John. And we caught pretty much every species of lobster that there are in the Virgin Islands. So we got these guys, which are spotted spiny lobsters. And there is actually no regulations on these guys. You can catch as many of them as you'd like, and there's no size limit. This guy, which is lesser known, it's a slipper lobster. And same with these guys, there is no size limits or regulations regarding them. A Caribbean spiny lobster. 
And these guys have to be three and a half inches measured from here to the bottom of their shell. And you're allowed two per person per day here in the Virgin Islands. There's actually a good bit of meat in all of these legs and in their feelers. So on these bigger guys, it's a good idea to cook the whole thing and you can eat these legs just like crab legs. So I think we'll probably keep the whole thing and throw them all in the pot together. We had a ton of fun diving around the bongo, but in the back of our minds, without use of our engine, we were concerned about our future. We relied on our engine to maneuver while anchoring, power through channels, and to have the ability to continue on our travels during moments of no wind. Between being new to sailing, the pandemic, and now this, we were certainly faced with a hell of a challenge. We had long conversations about what we should do next. We had no idea how extensive our repair would be or how long the boat would need to be out of the water for. Hurricane season was quickly approaching and we knew we needed to make a move, but we weren't quite ready to make a decision just yet. The next day, what started out with just a couple of us going for a casual hike quickly turned into a large group. Our first stop was Keneal Hill, which was gorgeous, but we decided to go a bit further to watch the sunset from Margaret Summit. With a few snacks and some wine, we sat on this rock, sharing stories about sailing and our nomadic lifestyles. What I didn't realize at the beginning of this journey was how many amazing friendships we would be making along the way. As we watched the sun go down, surrounded by our new friends, we were feeling more optimistic about the bump in the seas ahead of us. We hope you continue to follow along on our journey next time as we see which way the wind blows us. The fight's over. Give up. The fight is over. So what did you catch today? We caught about 15 pounds of lobster. What are we going to do with them? Uh, we're going to eat all of them. And share with our friends? And share with our friends.